Now let's have a look at the probe and its accessories. Here we have the probe, some cleaning floss, some extra probe tips and a screening ear tip box. Inside the screening box you'll find a variety of ear tip sizes. For newborn hearing screening and testing on young infants you'll most usually be using the green ear tip or the red flanged ear tip. These should be placed securely over the probe tip like so and should sit flush against the probe head here. At the end of the test the ear tip should be removed and thrown out as they are single use ear tips. It can be common for wax or debris to get into the probe tip here. This is especially true when testing newborns that have wet ears. Therefore you have some cleaning floss to clean the probe tip with and also some spare probe tips to exchange if needed. To clean the probe tip remove the probe cap by unscrewing here and then take off the probe tip. There are small holes here where you can feed the floss through to clean it. Always feed the floss through this end and out through the top of the probe tip. There is a gasket inside the probe that may need to be removed to clean some of the smaller channels. Make sure that you place the gasket back in before placing the probe tip back onto the, the probe head. After cleaning, screw the probe tip back into place like so before testing.